Hello, what's up guys? And today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own custom um, icon for your channel. So basically, all it is is it's this little thing here. And it will also be on your channel. So basically, one is for an icon of the user interface for you. And it's also for what the peop what people you see, the public, here. So it's really simple to create and it's free. Now when you think of them, you don't think they're free, but actually they are free. So, yeah. So the first thing you're going to search is Get Paint. Now what Paint is, is, is it's this free software. Now it's called Paint.net, but that, well, the website address is GetPaint.net. I will link it in the description. It's basically this free software. Um, it, you can make some really good things and it's really really simple I, I say it's an easier and creative version of Photoshop because Photoshop you can get some stunning pictures but they cost hundreds and hundreds of pounds to actually get the software and this is free this is a great alternative so you, all you have to do is click that and then you've got to go through the install wizard and then once you've done that, you can open it and, well, it will look like this. So the first thing is really basic. Now, normally, when you think you have to drag and drop to put everything on, but all you have to click is this new, or click file new, so open a new one. It has to be 88 by 88. It's okay. Okay. Now, once you've done that, you can scroll in with the mouse wheel. I don't know how to do that because I don't have a mouse. I just use a laptop. So, if you do have one, you can search for that in the internet. I'll probably tell you in the description anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, but it doesn't really matter. Also, you can download some fonts. I, I might make a video about to download fonts, but it is pretty easy, so I doubt I will. So, once you've done that, you need a background image. Now... The great thing about this software is, is that you can drag and drop. Um, wait, sorry, you can minimize, you can make it bigger, and you can make it smaller, and it still has that effect. So if I just got a wallpaper, HD, for instance, and I hit images. If I just got this, okay, you can copy it. You can click right click, copy, or Control C. Now after you've done that, paste it, control V or right click pay. Second bit, it's not dragging, it takes a bit of time sometimes to work. Just click it, just keep canvas size. Now once you've done that you can move it, you see, and you can narrow it down as well. So it can fit, it takes a bit time because obviously I've took one of the biggest images to show you guys an example. Wait, I'm, I don't know if I'm, I'm actually... And then you can basically get a background. Also you can move it so in parts you can get the background that you want like I've just done because obviously I've struggled to zip and make it smaller you can make it smaller it is a lot easier than that it's just because our computer doesn't want to behave today so then after that you've just got to click the one with the t you can just take t and it'll add well normally just click that then just click where you want the text now after this it's basically word it is that simple now you put in what you want now for a big big text you need it bold you can download loads like my favorite i've downloaded and it's three dumb now it, it is free i might link it in the comment section and yeah so download it if you don't know how to install it tell me in the comments so then you've got to type in something here so for instance for instance if i typed in e you can also make it bigger which everyone probably does. I can just type in E X E X E. There we are. Now this is just a really. I've just done a random name. You can move it around. 
and if you want more text you just keep that hi highlighted and you can click it now another feature it has is paintbrush so basically it's paint it's way better than paint but a little bit not as good as photoshop but it's a lot easier so download it so once you've done that you're going to hit file save as just save it you can save it in a folder or just save it in the background i'm just going to call it channel channel thing okay so and then after that you can choose how many bits you want it 32 well you have to i recommend 32 and then you're going to wait a couple of seconds then also you can find it where i put it there we are it does look a lot better i might update mine because mine didn't look well mine doesn't look as good as this because it went a bit pixely and it didn't go very well then once you've done that all you've got to do is sorry about that i just put in public view you've got to hover over it hit this weird pencil item browse file wherever you saved it find it so if i just wrote you can search it if you have Windows um, 7 or 8. I have 7. Then you hit Save Changes. Now, it should come up practically instantly. Now, there we go. That is it. Now, if I just view it as public, the public will see it like this. So you'll have this channel icon. And when you click on a video, it'll be there. I haven't got any videos at this time, so I'll just. Search a random video. Video. Probably come up with Gangstar. Of course. Anyway. And then it will be there. Okay, that image that you've put it there with your name. And, and you'll... Well, you might attract some more subscribers. The average is like 20% more subscribers with just having this little image. So, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it subscribe comment and like add to your favorites and even share with your friends if they want to know because i know some people have been stuck with this so see you guys have a brilliant day watch my other videos and bye